Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this fourth degree equation. As you can see over here, x power 4 minus 49 equal to 0. As we can see, our highest degree is 4. That means we are going to have 4 roots or sometimes we call it solutions. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step. Let's focus on this part on the left hand side, only this one. And here I have just copied it down right up here and I can manipulate it a little bit. I can tweak it. I can write this x power 4 as x power 2 and then power 2, isn't it? because 2 times 2 is 4 and then 49 could be written as 7 square. Now we can see that we got a difference of 2 squares. Therefore we are going to use this well-known formula a square minus b square equal to a minus b times a plus b. So this thing could be written as x square minus 7 time x square plus 7. So therefore this left hand side could be written as the product of these two factors. Now since these two factors equal to 0 I can separate them, I can split them, I can write the first factor x square minus 7 equal to 0 and the other side x square plus 7 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and focus on this part first and let's move this negative 7 on the right hand side so this could be written as x square equal to positive 7. Now let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. This square and square root this is gone so we got x equal to positive or negative square root of 7. So we got these two roots over here. And now let's go ahead and focus on this side. And let's go ahead and move this 7 on the right hand side. So we got x square equal to negative 7. Now once again let's go ahead and remove this square by taking the square root. So I'm going to take square root on this side and this side as well. This square and square root, they undo each other. So we got x equal to positive or negative square root of negative 7. Now let's focus on this radical part. Square root of negative 7. I have just copied it down over here. And this radical could be written as negative 7. I can write negative 1 times 7, isn't it? And I can split that up. I can break it down into square root of negative 1 times square root of 7. Now let's focus on this square root of negative 1. Always remember square root of negative 1 is equal to i where i stands for imaginary number or sometimes people call it iota. So I can replace this one by i times square root of 7. So therefore this part I can replace by this one so I can write x equal to positive or negative i times square root of 7. So therefore we got two solution on this side as well as positive or negative i times square root of 7. And here we got four solutions two right up here and two over here. Or we can write it as a set notation as you can see. So we got two real and two imaginary solution as you can see. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.